On a gorgeous evening in Memphis, Tennessee, the 2023 NBA playoffs are presented by Google Pixel. Back here courtside at FedEx Forum, where just moments ago, Jaron Jackson Jr. ran straight back to the locker room after checking out of the game with an apparent leg injury. We will keep you posted on his status. Meanwhile, the Grizzlies playing tonight without their all-star point guard, Ja Morant, who about an hour before uh, the game started was scheduled to not warm up at his usual court spot here on the main court, but back rather on the practice facility there in front of the medical staff. They were going to test his pain tolerance, where I've been told that the, the, the bruise that he has suffered to his soft tissue after the MRI came back and showed that is dealing with ripping the basketball, dribbling the basketball, shooting the basketball. All of that obviously came back to the point where he is not ready to go tonight. But again, guys, they are confident in who is the highest paid backup point guard in the NBA, Tyus Jones, who is 33 and 15 over the last two years in the regular season and playoffs when starting in place of job. Ryan? Yeah, Jared, no doubt they signed him to a two-year, $30 million deal. Big shot goes for Xavier Tillman. Morant is standing all the way at the end of the bench, taking in the action. Tillman is three of three from the field, intercepted by Jones. Jones pushing tempo. The teardrop goes down for Tyus Jones. Santi Aldama in for Jackson as soon as we get word on him. We'll pass it along as Reeves turns it over. Reeves has not attempted a shot yet for L.A. Well, he has it, but another transition opportunity. And right on cue is Tyus Jones with the steal. And then the decision, okay, do I pass it? Do I shoot it? LeBron steps back. Smart decision once again. Like you said, the best backup point guard in the league. But one of the better point guards in the league overall, Tyus Jones. All six Memphis field goals made have come in the paint. And a change here for L.A. Rui Hachimura is in. Huge numbers on Sunday. 29 points off the bench. Five of six from three-point territory. Brooks squares. Missed it. Rebound grabbed by Vanderbilt. Luke Kennard in the game for Memphis as well. Let's check in with Jerry. Hey guys, Jaron Jackson Jr. just tweaked his ankle, went back to the locker room to get it retaped. He is now back on the bench and will be ready to go back in as soon as Taylor Jenkins calls his name. All right, Jared, three-point miss by D'Angelo Russell. The Lakers are 2 of 12 from the field. Jones finds it out. And a chance at a three-point play. The floater and the foul. You know, Tyus is not going to give you the highlight real plays that, of course, you're going to see from John Morant. But he gives you solid offense. He's going to make the right decision. And right here, able to absorb that contact and make that shot. Let's keep our eye, too, on Dylan Brooks. Even when he traveled over here on the wing, he hesitated on the shot. And why that's important is because last game he was 5 for 13, only 2 for 9 from the 3. Let's see if he hesitates again when he gets an opening. A couple of adjustments here for L.A. Troy Brown Jr. in Dennis Schroeder as well. This is an 8-0 Memphis run. Handoff. Reeves whips it. Hachimura, the pull-up pump. That's smooth. You know, the Lakers don't need Rui to get 29 points. Kind of like Malik Monk for Sacramento. Didn't need to get 32, but he got 20-plus. <laughs> so it's still an added bonus. There it is. So, Dylan... This is his first two three-point shots. Reeves. Oh, saucy. Chance at a three-point play. Reeves goes behind the back with it and scores. Well, part of the issue, too, when you shoot a long jump shot, the long rebound, now your opposition has a chance to get out in transition. And Austin Reeves being creative between two Memphis Grizzly players. Number six scoring team in the NBA this season, 117.2 points per game. The confidence that they have in Austin Reeves in his second year in the league. 14-11, Memphis. We're down to 4.22 to go on this opening quarter. Kennard, the former Clipper, former Piston, and defensive three seconds, the call. So free throw here as Jaron Jackson Jr. will get set to check back in. D'Angelo Russell will do the same for L.A. And, and that's good to see for Jaron because he did it on that fast break when he kind of stepped on the back of A.D.'s heel. When he turned over, I'm sure he probably got retaped. And this is a game, of course, he doesn't want to miss. 
due to an injury. The NBA on TNT is brought to you by the Kia Telluride X-Pro. Kia is the official automotive partner of the NBA. Rookie out of Colorado State, David Roddy is in the game, so Memphis is relying on the bench. When we talked to Taylor Jenkins, he said Roddy and Kennard and Aldama, they have to step forward. The jumper goes! David Roddy with a corner three, and then a steal by Kennard, step back Jay. Shot Roddy right on time when you spoke him up. I am able to knock it in, and then the lazy pass on the inbounds of D'Angelo Russell trying to contest, gets a piece of it. Ben to love it every minute of it. A different tone, different feel, different aggression early by this Memphis team putting LA back on their heels a bit. And Jim, keep an eye on the rotation for yeah. Memphis because they don't have a natural backup point guard to Tyus Jones. So Jones, now they're going to stagger the minutes. Desmond Bain sits. When Jones gets a breather, Bain will step in and play point guard. Davis, great position on the inside. Offensive rebound, puts it up and in. AD gets the deuce. Much needed basket that time by the Lakers. And when in doubt, see if you can get AD mid post or post and let him go to work. Kennard gives up his dribble. 12 to shoot, three and a half to go in this first quarter. Jackson way outside, mismatch with Russell. Double team comes from Brown. Jackson plows through it, could not get the follow. And Davis has got the board. Schroeder, cross court, extra. Hachimura, book it, a three. I tell you, when you're rolling, you're rolling, but that's excellent execution with their fast break. The ball moved a lot faster than the bodies of the Grizz getting Hachimura. Three ball, corner pocket. Switch it out. Roddy, off the rim. Jackson, offensive rebound, and a foul call. They wanted the bucket to count after the block by Hachimura. But he's going to go to the free throw line for a pair. 2.51 to play in this opening quarter. We've had great pace so far in Memphis. 